Kurt and Melissa Cochran were Americans on holiday in London last spring. You can see them here exploring Westminster in what were the last moments of Kurt's life. Just after these CCTV pictures were recorded, a car drove up onto the pavement and ran them over. The last thing Kurt did before he died was try to push his wife out of the way. In a statement read to the inquest, Melissa said that she was forever grateful for the time they had together, allowing me to be the mother of his children, and especially for Kurt's heroic actions on that day, saving my life. Kurt was one of five people to die in what was a brutally simple terror attack. Khaled Massoud's victims just happened to be walking along the bridge that Wednesday afternoon. Leslie Rhodes was a retired window cleaner. His niece Amanda said everyone loved him. He'd do anything to help anyone who needed it. Aisha Freyd was on her way to pick up her children. Her husband said the truth is it still doesn't feel like she's gone. Her love surrounds us. Her aura lights up the paths of life's journey. And Andrea Cristia was a tourist from Romania. Her family said she was a lovely, enchanting and life-loving woman. The killing on the pavement stopped on the other side of the bridge when Massoud drove his vehicle into railings at the Palace of Westminster. After he crashed his car, Khaled Massoud came round this corner on foot, carrying two knives. At that gate to the Houses of Parliament, he was confronted by PC Keith Palmer, who was unarmed. There was a struggle. The police officer fell backwards into the courtyard where Massoud attacked him again as he lay on the ground, stabbing him repeatedly. PC Palmer's sister, Angela, told the inquest that he had died protecting strangers, doing his job. He will be remembered, she said, by many for his courage and bravery. There was terror in Westminster that day, but there was also humanity, heroism and love. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.